and away. We're landed safely, and now we're gonna go to our rent a car. I'm pretty excited. First day journey begins today. We arrived safe. They have Margarita Veal here too at the airport. Look at this baby. Hello. Welcome to Puerto Rico. The plans are 18 year old as well, so it's well time planned. Me and my partner are both Southeast Asian. I'm a tropical girl, so this weather is our element. We're going to uh, rent the car to pick up, of course, the car. <laughs> that is the car rental area. So, Alamo, Avis, budget, Hertz. Everything is right there. A lot of people are actually getting their cars. Ours is gonna be on the second floor, which is National Car Rental. This is very good because as soon as you landed, the area for your car rental is just across the airport. So ours is National. Pick up our car. Oh, really? Good. Okay, let's figure it out here. Just any car and go. Oh, we're just gonna have to pick up our car here. Let's pick our first and then it's all the, all the way at the exit. Ah, okay. So, which car is <laughs> Dodge? Chip there, babe. So, we're about to pick up which car are we gonna use. So, we're gonna do black or white. Which car are we gonna get? <laughs> it's my dream car. So we're having a Jeep Wrangler and it's color yellow. I think it's aligned because it's suddenly just someone parked it again so we can pick it up for, you know, for our turn. Okay, all set. We went this up right there. Oh, thank you. We are ready. We got all the adapters that we needed for rent a car. So we're registering our car right now. We're still learning all these buttons from 30s to 72 degrees here in Puerto Rico. Crazy! Look at this. They're still also practicing and checking how they drive. Bienvenidos a Puerto Rico! So there's traffic here. Okay, traffic is everywhere. But I have traffic in Puerto Rico. Hello. <laughs> this is going to be our first dinner in Puerto Rico as soon as we arrive. And they said that the first stop to try is this Beboso restaurant. It's actually just 11 minutes away from the airport. They said that this is very local if you just arrive and hungry. So go straight here because it's super near at the airport. They have the uh, natural drinks here. Look at this. Puerto Rican love. Fried, fried foods. We ordered an additional small rice here. They have the plantain. So look at that. A lot of plantains here. And this is the yuca, which is the cassava. So the tarjeta, it's for the two orders of um, pernil, which is uh, lechon or roasted pork. The total price is $22 only with the plantain. They got also this one, the pernil, two orders. Oh, I, I'm not so sure if this is to order. But yeah, that's to order, and this one is the yuca. Okay, cool. They said that this is the local dishes of uh, Puerto Ricans. And we order also an extra rice, a Puerto Rican rice. So let's try it. First meal in Puerto Rico. Some of the establishments are actually accepting cards. So you just better ask. You must also have cash with you because knowing about Puerto Rico, they said that some establishments are not accepting cards. So better be prepared with that. Look at this lab of pork. Welcome to Puerto Rico. First meal, huh? Mm hmm. It's so Muy delicioso. Mm hmm. It's like a wet huh? Mm hmm. The rice is actually the start of the taste of paella. This is the yuca. Yuca is the cassava. Mm. The cassava have onions, cooked with onions on it. 
in the Philippines, cassava is just a dessert. But this one is like steam it and then put some onions. It's so good. I like it. Pernil. And this is the plantain, which is the banana. Look at that. <laughs> Puerto Rico even, it is a United States territory. If you are in San Juan, they said that they're still, um, they can understand English, but when we ordered, they automatically speak to you in Spanish. I'm not good in Spanish, but conversational, I can speak Spanish because Philippines is colonized by Spanish, which is famous as Puerto Rico. So normally, Philippines has been called as the Latin country of the Asia because Spanish colonization. You can see this one. These are the skin of lechon. Normally, this is the roasted lechon, right? It's, it's crackling. This one is. Mm, yeah, it's gummy. I like Filipino lechon. I like Filipino better. Hi. For the verdict of Bebo's barbecue, you can tell that it is a local dish, and we're actually happy that this is our first meal to welcome us in Puerto Rico. If you can observe the restaurant itself, mostly locals are eating here. And the pernil is very tasteful. It's a different way of lechon. The taste is so good. It is not a dry. There's a still moist of the meat itself. The yuca is so fun because normally cassava is a dessert in the Philippines, but now it's a side dish. It's been boiled and simmered, and then it's the salty of the yuca blend well to the onions. The rice is actually the same family of paella. Plantain is I love it. I love it. Overall, it's amazing if you wanted to try to welcome you to Puerto Rican food. As soon as you landed here in Puerto Rico, try Bebo's barbecue. Guaranteed it's so good. So, off to next. So, we're here at Mall of San Juan, an Asian mall. It's huge. Look at that. Ganda. It's pretty, pretty. Nice. I like it. We're actually going to get a Krispy Kreme. Donut. Like, <laughs> donut because Krispy Kreme in Puerto Rico, they have their own flavor. So we're gonna get it and try it out. Krispy Kreme, go this way. Oh, it's walking. <laughs> Welcome to Krispy Kreme. <gasps> Queso y guayaba, y guayaba. So we got the Krispy Kreme. So we're going to check in now in the hotel and let's try this. And we're gonna try the Krispy Kreme as soon as we get and settle down in the hotel. As soon as you get inside the room, this are the closets. They got some ironing board, iron, safety box here. And then across is the bathroom. So very decent bathroom. They got the blow dry here. Hot and cold water. Okay. Beautiful mirror. Hello. Mm-hmm. This little tiny bathtub here. Body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. Not bad. It's clean. And the bathroom got sliding door. Three is a uh, king size bed. We have a full body mirror here. So this our bench with with our luggages there. This TV. This are the working area. Rattan wooden chair. They have a uh, free coffee. Yo cono. Okay, so Puerto Rico coffee here. Coffee machine here. Of course, the Krispy Kreme that we're gonna try it tonight. And then we have a cushiony couch. They have a welcoming complimentary water. And we have a view. We have a balcony, but it's midnight now so tomorrow i'm gonna show you how it looks like during the day we comfortably check in now to our hotel we're going to have a quick 
food review about the Krispy Kreme of Puerto Rico. They have their own flavor of donuts. Look at this, so good. We have the queso and guayaba. Guayaba is the additional Puerto Rican flavor. This is the queso and guayaba. It is actually like a glazed donut. But let's see the filling inside this guayaba with cheese. Mm. In the middle of guayaba. Mm. Look at that. How's it? That's cashew and guayaba. Good? I like it. I'm still looking for the more cheesy flavor, right? It's it's almost the same as the glaze flavor. So if there's a queso, which just means cheese, I am expecting that it's more cheesy, you know, the saltiness of the cheese. Anyway, it's still good. And this one is the guayaba, which is without cheese, <laughs> without queso. <laughs> but they have like confectioner sugar sprinkler on the top. Look at this. The color of the guayaba is red. It's like a marmalade. Okay, this one is taste guayaba. The red one is really taste like the guayaba. We ordered an extra classic flavor, which is my favorite, the Barbarian. And another one, which is the apple cinnamon donuts. Apple strudel in a donut form. So uh, yeah, it was a tiring day. So after this, we're gonna hit the shower and then we're gonna go, go to bed and sleep because we got an early excursion for tomorrow. So you have to watch out for that. We're going to have a snorkeling, Cayo y Cacos Island. Stay tuned with that. So anyway, this is your girl Maria saying salamat. Thank you. Alam. Bye. Gracias. Maria. Bye. Adios. One more. <laughs>to visit Puerto Rico, you don't need a passport here. If you are a US citizen, you can use your state ID or driver's license. So you don't need a passport. But if you're an international traveler, definitely you need a passport here. I'm wondering about... And if everyone's asking what we're doing here in Puerto Rico, we're celebrating our one year anniversary of our relationship. It's kind of be cheesy, but anyway, we're celebrating our anniversary. Guayabama. <laughs>